Hi everyone, Sarah here. Um, I have a quick video that I want to share with you. Uh, I've been trying to get this card done and finally got a chance. Uh, this is for Mary Lepotka. She's here on YouTube. Um, she does, I believe, like Rolex, Rolodex cards and ATC cards, that type of thing. Um, she had sent out a request for uh, her mother-in-law's 94th birthday, if people could send her a birthday card. And I think that is so cool, so I really wanted to do it. Um, her birthday is February 8th, so I'm sorry, Linda, unfortunately this isn't going to make it to her in time, but I'm sure she'll still appreciate it. Um, it's coming from Canada, so... <laughs> um, so I wanted to do something different, and I started seeing this card popping up all over the internet. So I went over to Split Coast Stampers. Um, that's a website that does like tutorials and it has galleries and stuff like that. I used to do um, a lot of stuff over there when I did Stampin' Up. So they have like step-by-step -step tutorials. So they have one on here and it's called Pop-Up Box Card. And it's pretty easy. It's just, um, what is it, eight and a half by 12 sheet of paper that's all scored up and and trimmed and everything and once you get it all put together and embellish it it's a little pop-up box and then you just flatten it and you can flatten it like this so that it's hidden I I didn't really make everything hide in there I I kinda like the way it looks like this so that they send it to them but then for displaying it can just sit like that and you can see everything pop up so um, I used the die cuts with a view vintage collector stack I bought this one a while ago and hadn't really had a chance to use it and Bone has been using it a lot live love scrap and she went and got the cardstock sticker so I had to go get them <laughs> 101 pieces and it was only $6.99 so definitely cool and cool images so that is it. I just used those papers. This is a um, pink doily from Michaels. I went back and bought some more because they're 50 off right now. And I got the heart ones too. And then I just layered some of the cardstock stickers. See how there's different sections. And then I colored up this greeting farm 80s Anya and added in some little bows. And then on the back, this is where you put your message. So. Um, I stamped it this way because I wanted the the saying wouldn't fit the other way, but I wanted to use that one. And then I'm just going to write her a, um, a little message in there. So that's it. That's my card. Quick share. <laughs> Alright, leave a comment, subscribe if you wish, and have a great day. Thanks, bye!